Yo, YouTube people, I am tired. No, um, <laughs> I am tired and just exhausted, but I know I haven't uploaded the pumpkin carving video. It's taken me ages to edit. I will upload it just so you can watch it, even though it's not Halloween anymore. But um, today I thought I'd just show you some of the stuff I bought in London last month and talk a little bit about the disaster that was the Pokemon Center. Um, so I went to go to the Pokemon Center and I got there. I think me and Jack got there at one because, you know, we both work full time. We couldn't get a Friday off just so we could go and camp out from four in the morning in London, which I am not going to do um, because it's London. I'm sorry. I, I have not got a death wish. Um, but, so we got there at one and they'd shut the queues. Great, lovely. And then they were informed us that if, even if we had queued, um, the minimum wait time was nine hours. Uh, I'm not being funny, for starters, anyone who was, wasn't born before 1996 can get out that queue. Um, <laughs> I deserve to be there more. But what I think they probably should have done is sold time slot tickets and like not for a great expense because it would have just stopped that whole queuing situation because not like I said not everyone can queue from four in the morning and like I'm not healthy enough to do that I've got a lot of health problems so I can't do that and I can't afford a hotel to stay there and then get up for four in the morning and queue I was gutted like I did get to do some other fun stuff. Like, it was not like it was a waste of day because it's London. You can do all sorts. But I did feel that I was quite let down by the, by the whole situation. And actually, I probably could have got into the Pokemon Center quicker if I'd flown to Japan. So having not been, I am a bit disappointed. But I did get to go to London and get some super cool stuff, which I will show you now. So much to... Jack's distress, I found the coolest teacher ever in the boys section. Oh, you can't really see it. Ta-da! How cool is that? I'm gonna wear that with pride at some point. <laughs> I also got a new poker board to add to my collection. Ooh, I'm really horribly spotty today. Um, sorry. I'm too tired to do my makeup properly. Yeah, I got a new poker ball, so I should open the cards for that at the end of this. And this, this is my pride and joy. <laughs> it's a teapot. If you follow me on Twitter, which if you don't, naughty, I think you should, um, you'll have seen a picture of it already. I haven't opened it yet, so I'll do that as well now. <laughs> So let's open the Premier Ball. Um, I had a comment about one of my old videos and saying that I'm quite quiet. Um, I need to get a little clip on microphone, which when I've got some money, I will do. But I've had vocal nodules. I don't know if I've put, ever said about that. So I can't really talk much louder. <laughs> but um, yeah, there we go. Anyway, PSA out of the way. Da, 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 da. What have we got? In the Pokemon, probably a load of rubbish. Right, so we have a little coin. I'm gonna say that's nine tails. This is why I'm completely wrong, and it's something else. <laughs> but I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, so what packs have we got? We've got Ancient Origins, we've got Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, Rainbow Charizard, Rainbow Charizard, and uh, we've got a Crimson Invasion pack. So, I'll start with Ancient Origins, because I don't actually think I've opened all of these. Let's see if I can not butcher these. I need them um, on those guard sound things, so I don't can't hear the crackling of that. Oh, it's really quite a cool card, then. Oh god, which way round is the card? So, I'm sorry, I'm not showing the code cards anymore. I found you I could sell them on eBay, and being a poor person, <laughs> and I think this is a throwaway the energy. No, oh, bugger. 
You didn't see that. Oh, it's X and Y. It's not Bonnie. Um, it's not um, Sun and Moon. Yeah, well, it was a decent ish card. It's got glue. We have a Skeptile Spirit Link. Oh, oh, that's cool. We have Flareon. We have Porygon. And we have Red Camp. Persian. Oh, that's good. We have an Eevee and a Flareon. That's nice. Good little combination. Ah, another one for my fairy deck, which is the, being the bane of my life. I will talk you through that once I uh, get my cards back from my parents. We have a reverse Beldum. It was quite nice. And we have a Verizian. That was the one I accidentally looked at. That one? Yes, Crimson Invasion. That would be the next one. Da, 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 da. Let's open the packet. I'm getting better at actually opening these. Right, so get rid of the code card. Sorry, guys. If you want to buy them off me, I'll put a link. One, two, three to the front. Now, these you throw away the energy. I can't believe I made that mistake. Leaf energy. Da -da -da -da. We have a peaking red card, a milk tank, Hakamoo. We have a corfish with a ghastly. I'm gutted I didn't get a shiny ghastly on Pokemon Go. Oh, so gutted. Houndo, one of my favourites because it's a doggo. Uh, Star you, Jangmoo. That's good combo in that pack. We have a Reverse milk tank and a mammo spine. Angry boy. Not great, but eh. Last packet. The Burning Shadows. The one and only. Probably, apart from the tag team cards, probably one of the best sets, I think. They've just got the most interesting cards in them. But the only problem with Burning Shadows is I can never open them. Right. I mean... Oh, I've got a Pikachu. Okay. One, two, three to the front. Get rid of the, ooh, the dark energy. Okay, so we have Olivia. Decent pull. Lunatone. Plumeria. I haven't got this many trainers in one pack before. Pikachu. Bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> Krogunk. Pan Sage, that probably revealed as a rubbish pack. Stuffle, he's cute. Oh no, that might be the, the reverse actually. Meowth. Yeah, that's cool. Malamar and. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Deancey. Okay, so that wasn't actually that bad. My luck's not been great recently, so it's actually nice to have some semi-decent pulls. Next, I'm gonna open the teapot. I have removed the sellotape. And now, here comes the really super environmentally friendly packaging. Great, polystyrene, not good, but I guess you guys will get some hair. So we need to get all the polystyrene bits off it. But is that not the coolest teapot you have ever seen? So I like it's my glasses case. I say case, it's a box of kin. I had to buy blue light glasses for my job because I get migraines from computer screens. I also have to get a back brace because sitting in an office is doing my back no favours. I'm turning to a hunchback. And that is apparently one of the most common long-term side effects of working in an office. But anyway, the teapot, yeah, it needs a bit of a clean, get all that polystyrene off. I'm so pleased with that. 
I just need to find now some proper Captain America teacups and saucers. If not, I'm just going to buy some plain ones and I will paint them. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Remember, please subscribe, like, and I have links to my social media below. Please, please follow me. I'm very lonely at the moment. <laughs> Mostly just because I don't promote anything and I'm really lazy. But I'm promoting it now. I have Twitter. I have a Facebook. Please go follow me entertain me, I get bored at work. <laughs>